You won't be seeing the Steelers, Greg Tabloid, former Philly, Pete Incaviglia, the Spurs head coach, or I should say assistant coach, Paul Pressey. Read all about it, the plays of the week. Run to your nearest checkout aisle now. <laughs> Our crack staff has got the hard-hitting news you want to know. And we'll get it to you any way possible. In this issue, a story that will leave you a little off balance. Ancient curse wreaks havoc in sports world. The ritual began with the ceremonial march and the age-old incantation. Da -da -da, da -da -da. Then it all went wrong. It was all anyone could do to stay on the right track. People tried to keep their heads, but failed miserably. No dance could bring an end to the curse. Even the armed forces couldn't stop it. The last chance. The eternal horn. And with that, the curse was lifted, and things fell into place. Four on one, Detroit. They got a score here. Elliot the Hill. Oh, boy! You have to be kidding me with that one. We're not kidding about our latest fad diet. That means you. Stop stuffing as much as you can at every opportunity. Yes, you can lose weight by only taking what you can barely grab onto. Deep down the middle, and it is deflected and caught. And it's a flex that said for the score! Our reporters aren't afraid to take on the enemy single-handedly. We've run through tough spots before. But it's not enough just to be there. The story has to be on target. So get your friends together and pick up a copy of Plays of the Week where we feed you stories like Search for Ark Continues Noah to Lead Expedition A word of caution, it may not be a smooth trip. Plays of the Week is brought to you by Isuzu. Like Isuzu, Plays of the Week is practically amazing. Still to come on the big show, what makes Johnny run? More NFL game highlights.